Hey guys, today we're going to look at some best practices for briefing designers and how to get the best work you can from them. Before we dive in, a shout out to senior designer Adam Booker over at FCB Inferno for helping out with this video and offering a designer's input on the process. So, the first step in briefing your designer is knowing what sort of concept you have. They break down into two basic sorts. One is where you have a clear idea in your head of what you want, and the other is when you have a looser idea or more of a style that you've seen. With a clearer idea, the main tip is to give your designers as much information and visual references as possible. The more you can give them of what you're thinking, the better chance of the end product looking like it. If your concept is looser, however, then the best approach is still to have as many references of what you're thinking as possible, but also have a very open mind to what will be created, and plan in time to experiment, to make mistakes and adapt. Okay, let's jump into an example of those points. Let's pretend you can see into my head this is the idea I want our designers to create, one of the many famous NICADs, which never really came from my head, but instead from the clever heads over at Wyden & Kennedy's. Now, as always, we start with the scamp of the idea, trying to capture as much detail as possible. Notice how the scamp struggles to put across the bronze footballer fort, or the mood and lighting of the stadium in my background that's currently in my head. This is why we need references. So what I like to do is scan in the scamp and bring it into a new Photoshop file usually A3 in size, and I'll place the scamp around A4 in size in the centre of the page. From here, I can start to pull together the relevant reference shots to help sum up what's going on in my head. What's important here is to be as precise as possible. A bronze statue comes in many forms, rusty or shiny, deep bronze or light bronze, segments missing or fully complete. You need to be precise on what look you're going for, so your designers can help you create it. And find references for everything, the lighting, the font colours, Anything you have a clear idea of how you want it, find a reference for it. The scamp is now in a much better and more useful place for your designer. But another great bit of advice is treat your designer as you are treated creatively. Give them a clear and concise brief to begin with. Explain the background of the project, the emotions you're trying to create to a certain audience, and then plan in some whips, a deadline. All these things will help you work together as a team and also giving them enough space to do their own thing. The more work you can do ahead of briefing a designer, the better the end product will be and the harder they'll work for you. Thanks again to Adam for the advice. Thanks as always to you guys for watching and subscribing.